Using the new skills Poison Exploit and Nergigante Avidity, we can get bigger and better damage in Monster Hunter now. These new skills provide some massive damage buffs. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys an armor set that combines these two skills together to make a build that outputs insane burst damage. I mean, just take a look at these damage numbers. Now that's a lot of damage! Before we get into the build, we have to understand that these two skills may greatly increase our damage, but they're not exactly the easiest skills to work with. Nergigante's skill gives you a constant damage buff, but at the cost of losing your special move. Goldrathian's skill, Poison Exploit, greatly increases your damage, but you have to poison the monster first, and technically the buff only lasts for 11 seconds. That's a pretty short amount of time. So there's a bunch of limitations you have to deal with to get the most out of these skills. So I took these things into consideration when making this build. That's why for our weapon, I chose the Gold Rathian Gunlance. It has two points of poison exploit at grade 8, high raw, and a high poison stat which we will need if we're going to activate poison exploit. Now this normal gun lance also benefits greatly from the Nergigante Avidity skill cause even without a special move, it can output big damage using full burst. Now in my opinion, I think the gun lance is the best weapon to take advantage of the poison exploit skill. The buff only lasts for 11 seconds and landing a full burst while the monster is poisoned outputs insane damage. Full bursting is the best way to output a ton of damage in a short period of time that the monster is poisoned. Now yes, there is an easier way to take advantage of poison exploit, and that's to pop your special move when the monster gets poisoned. But you won't always have your special ready, and with this build, we have the Nergigante Avidity skill equipped, so we can't even build up any special gauge. Our only option is to go all in with full burst. <laughs> Now on to the armor pieces. We will equip the Nergigante Helm and Waist to get 2 points of Nergigante Avidity. This gives us a constant 15% damage increase that also buffs our shelling attacks. As a bonus, we also get 1 point of Crit Eye, Artful Dodger, Attack Boost, and Part Breaker. The Gunland still benefits from Crit Eye when we use our Worm Stake, so it's not too bad of a skill to have. And Artful Dodger is essential if we want to do perfect evades and combo into our full burst, which I will explain later why this is important. The rest of the armor pieces, we will equip our usual artillery pieces, the Basarius Male and Legs, and the Teostra Vambraces. Overall, this build has artillery level 4, Nergigante Avidity level 2, and Poison Exploit level 2 from our weapon. Now you might be wondering, why only 2 points of Poison Exploit? Well, I've tested out different combinations of Poison Exploit and Artillery with my Grade 8 Goldrathian Gunlands, while keeping Nergigante Avidity constant at 2 points, and I compared their full burst damage numbers. At Poison Exploit level 5, full burst attacks deal 1196 damage per shell, but only when the monster is poisoned. The biggest downside though is that by equipping the Gold Rathian Vambraces and Legs, you're only limited to Artillery Level 2. That means you won't be getting the extra shell from Artillery Level 3. That's a big problem. And for most of the hunt, the monster won't even be poisoned, and your full burst attacks will only be dealing 676 damage per shell. And those numbers are NOT GOOD ENOUGH! If we swap out the Gold Rathian Legs and the Basarius Legs, we get Poison Exploit 4 and Artillery Level 3. We now get 6 shells and unloading all of them on a poisoned monster deals 1118 damage per shell. And when the monster is not poisoned, our full burst attacks deal 702 damage per shell. Hey, that's pretty good. Those are pretty good numbers. But another problem arises. Poisoning the monster using the gun lance isn't exactly a walk in the park. You have to rely on the worm stake to build up poison fast. But firing the worm stake is a high commitment move, and the opportunity to use it doesn't always present itself. 
when we do get to fire the worm steak, weaker monsters usually end up dying before we can even poison it. That's how strong the worm steak is. So relying mainly on poison exploit for damage is not the best idea for the gun lads. And if you're not careful, there are also times when the poison status fades even before you can pull off a full burst. That's why we should treat poison exploit as simply a bonus and only equip the two points we get from the gold Rathian weapon. Even with just two points of poison exploit with artillery level 4 and Nergigante avidity level 2, we still get a pretty sizable buff to our full burst. When poison exploit is active, our full burst will be dealing 988 damage per shell. And when the monster is not poisoned, it will be dealing 754 damage per shell. For solo play, this is the build that I would suggest. But if you're playing with another hunter using a poison weapon, you can swap out the Teostra Vambraces for the Gold Rathian ones to get poison exploit level 4. You guys can easily enhance by bursting down the monster when it gets poisoned. So how should you actually play this build? What combos should you be using? Well, I use the boomstick slap combos to apply poison and full burst whenever I can for damage. When I have the opening, I fire the worm stick. Only use the worm stick when you know it's safe. Don't get greedy. I die most of the time because I get greedy with the worm stakes. I get too focused on trying to poison the monster just to activate poison exploit and get those big damage numbers. But that's not how you play this build. If you're not sure if it's safe, you can always just swipe down to reload. You won't always get the opening to fire the worm stake, but you can create those openings by breaking parts or by perfect dodging. With a perfect dodge, you can skip into the overhead slam into the wide sweep to combo into your worm stake. With this shortcut, you can poison the monster and activate poison exploit. That's why always perfect dodge if you can. Now, when the monster is poisoned, you're mostly required to perfect dodge if you want to capitalize on the poison exploit buff. While the monster is poisoned, it will still attack and move around, so you need to perfect dodge in order to skip into full burst quickly before the poison fades. And that's basically how you use this build. It takes quite a bit of skill and that's where Artful Dodger comes into play to make this build a bit safer to use. Now if you guys didn't know, Hunter's Notes and I played the Monster Hunter Wilds open beta together. And if you want to find out how that went, be sure to check out this video next.